What's up everybody? Today we're going to check out the Growwatch series inverters and we're going to see if they make a great setup for your adventure vehicle. Let's find out. Alright, so we have the Growwatch up on the test bench and we're going to go ahead and take off this lower lower portion here. It has four screws, one on or two on the bottom and one on each side. We're going to pull those out real quick. All right, with the lower portion. All right, with the lower portion removed, we can go ahead and look inside of here. All right, guys, and with the cover taken off, you can also see that we have an AC input and AC output. And if we come over here, we have our PV input. This is for solar power. This is where we attach our battery terminals for our 24 volt setup. This is the positive, and here's the negative. And if we take a look at the bottom, we have all of our uh, ports for all of our wiring. We have our DC input, our PV input, we have our AC output, and our AC input. And this is for our wireless and if we want to run them in parallel. Okay guys, so today we're going to need black copper wire, red for our positive, black for our negative. We'll need a terminal kit, some 250 amp battery fuses, and a battery disconnect. We also have a solar power wire to hook up our solar panels. And we also have some AC wire with a plug. Alright, now we're going to make a wire to join these two batteries together in series. All right, so we're gonna use the we're gonna use the bolt, and that is the one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our lug inside of this crimping tool. It's spring loaded, so we just need to center it on there into the right place. We're gonna stick our we're gonna stick our wire in it. Seems to crimp it pretty nice. All right, we're gonna heat shrink these ends. We're just gonna stick them on our little heater out here. Sure you, you want to make sure that you rotate it really well. Works pretty fast, pretty even, and it doesn't scorch the heat shrink. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stick the negative wire onto the negative terminal. All right, now, so we're, now we're gonna go ahead and put the red hot wire on. This goes to the positive to the battery, but we do not have that hooked up yet because we're trying to wait until we get everything hooked up before we start applying batteries and power. Okay, that's the positive and negative power cables. All right, so this is gonna be our neutral, our load, and our ground. We're gonna go ahead and run our inputs into here. I'm just using a I'm just using an old extension cord that I had laying around. D 
Do make sure this is not plugged in before you start doing this. thing we need to wire up is our solar PV panels and right underneath it says PV negative which will be right here so we're gonna go ahead and go run the black we're gonna go ahead and run our our negative cable in there try to get it as close as you possibly can and tighten it down pretty much it as far as wiring on the inside we have our AC, and our AC in and AC out running through here and we have our solar panel input going into that upper one our DC 24 volt is going to be going in right down there in those two terminals and that's pretty much it guys we can go ahead and start putting this panel back on and then fit, wiring up the batteries and plugging it in see what she does all right guys we got the grow out hooked up we got the two battle born batteries running 24 volt they seem to be looking really good. We got a 250 amp fuse with a cutout battery cutoff. I haven't turned it on yet, but it's all hooked up. So let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, nothing exploded. All right guys, so these are the GrowWatt series solar inverters and I'm really, really liking them. I'm really considering putting them in band builds. This one's gonna be going in my Airstream build to check out and see if they're gonna be good for mobile applications. I really, really like this. It's all in one unit. All right guys, so why do we like these units? It has a built-in transfer switch. It has a 3000 watt inverter. It has a 60 amp battery charger when plugged into shore power. It has a 2000 watt solar charge controller. It runs 24 volt for more efficient, and if it exceeds that, it will automatically transfer to the shore power or generator power. The only thing that I've added to this system is a battery disconnect and a 250 amp fuse for the batteries. Other than that, it's pretty, pretty easy. There's not really much you need for this. Anyway guys, like and subscribe if you want to see more. We have some special adventure builds coming up and we got projects and all kinds of cool stuff coming on. Check us out on Instagram if that's your thing. Smash the like button if that's your thing. I don't know. Alright guys, thanks for checking it out and see you next time on Joshua Tree Adventure Builders. Thanks.